Hey guys, the fun video now, if you're coming from the last video. Don't worry, all smiles in this one. I was smiling in the other one too though, right? Anyways, moving on. So, for Valentine's Day, hubby decided to get me plants. I really don't like flowers. Uh, I'm a type of person, don't buy me something that's gonna die easily. Oh, roses. roses, carnations, whatever. Once they're chopped, they're dying. That's the only path they have. The last time I um, bought some was $150. The last bouquet you bought me, $150? Yeah. yeah, I told him if he ever did that again, I'd get really mad at him because $150 goes to waste. It's like you could have either some gotten jeans. me a little bit fatter by giving me some <laughs> yumminess, <laughs> chocolates, or actually buy me something that I can enjoy. In my case, I love plants, if you have not already. Yeah. Um, so, the I... He said, I'm going to buy you plants. <laughs> this is going to be a before. I said, uh, he said, I'm going to buy you plants. And I said, I'm going to destroy this wall. So I'm going to show, I'm not going to exactly tell you guys what I did uh, or what we're going to do. We're just going to kind of take you along the trip. Um, these are new. They're not new. They're old newbies. I, this is where I kind of harvest my succulents. Those that make it and grow strong are the ones that get transferred. These can get transferred out now too. Um, I just need more pots. But as you saw, like these made it, they look beautiful, they get transferred. Um, Cause if you've noticed when you buy succulents, a lot of them will die and you gotta choose the ones that have survived to keep. Um, that's what I've noticed. So you first harvest them, if they're doing good, they're prospering, you transfer them into their own little thing. Look at this one, isn't that cute? And yeah, they're all real, all of them. That's adorable. Anyways, we're gonna show you guys what we're gonna do with this wall. Hopefully not then with that wall. <laughs> he doesn't want me to touch that wall. I'm like, why not? It's already kind of the theme that I'm going for. He's like, nope, don't touch that wall. So this one's a new one. So he only gave me one wall for Valentine's Day. <laughs> yeah, so these are a couple that we've already bought. We started. Uh, I call this one the pineapple. Does it not look like a pineapple? It looks like a pineapple. <laughs> um, and I have already started painting a lot of the, uh, these were clay pots, like that orange color. Black and white seem to be the, the colors I'm going for, so I already started painting. Um, I have more, but yeah, let's take you guys on the journey. So, um, so we're gonna go to the store, right? Yes, we're going to the store now. All right, so we're gonna go to Home Depot. I'm hoping to find really big fake trees, because I see them everywhere, but you can't find them. Like I see them on TV, but I can't find them in stores. Like they don't. They seem fake. They seem so fake. They're like ginormous. Um, snake plants, I kind of want. So I don't know. We'll see. We're going to another Home Depot because the one we went to, we already explored it all. I got what I wanted, which was just a couple plants. But this one should have more, hopefully. Anyways, let's go. Bye. Damn it. I can never unlock it. It's like if I want to escape or run away, I'm shit out of luck. Come on. Nice. Mommy! Mommy! Coming out of the same one. That was nice too. Right? Yeah, Look at those leaves. Yeah, but it doesn't look like it's um, like it's healthy. Well, I can't tell. It's a Wow, look at that leaf. It's huge. Where? What is this? Like where? Where is this? Because it's coming from this plant. This one. This one's cool, but it takes up space. Yeah. Right. Because it's like all over. But this big one, I, I'm trying to get a hold of it. It's very hard because they're so like intertwined. I'll help you. So you can see it better. You see that? That's nice. Yeah, she's got to hold this one up. Put a stick. Huh? Put a stick and. Yeah, put a stick and tie it up. This is nice. Is this the one you want? Yeah. You're gonna take care of it? Yeah. Good, I'm happy. So I wanted a snake plant. They potted them really weird, so I was hoping I wouldn't have to repot some of these and kind of just let them go for a while, but I won't hide. So I think I'll do this one, and then I'll repot them closer together. Because they look better when they're together. Is that a cactus? I haven't seen cactus yet. We're going to cut it out to see. 
I think this lock kind of grabbed my attention. <laughs> Like that double. Right? Oh, that's hard. Between this one and that one. But I, I feel like there's potential for this to continue to grow upward. Whereas this one is connected, so it's not really going to grow that much taller. We're buying two. It I'll is your, find a spot for it. It is your Valentine's. Mommy. I'll find a spot for it, no matter what. Mommy? <laughs> don't like these? We need one? No. But, did you no. see the photo I showed you? If you put it on the top shelf, I'll be cute. And you can trim it. You get super no. Stop saying no! Stop saying no! No. Please! No. Please! You gotta see the cactus. Huh? You gotta see the cactus. But we gotta revisit these. Yeah, maybe. Okay. Not. Oh, look at this baby! Oh my god, no, look at that. Oh my god. I'm not repotting this shit though. <laughs> yeah, you I gotta can. get a pot that's just the size it could fit in there because I am not touching this. Look at this one. These are actually the worst ones. I thought these were, but they don't hurt like that one. Those stay in your skin and they feel like that fiberglass feeling. Yeah. Just, uh, uh, not even debating this one. Oh my god. Gorgeous. All right, so we are finally back. Um, this wall is going to be painted white, just this wall, so it's gonna end there. Um, maybe this wall, maybe that wall. He's saying no, I think it'll look really good. But anyways, we're gonna do shelves. And so, we bought this really cool, he showed me this style shelf, um, where you use industrial pipes. I think it's gonna look so amazing. So you put that on the wall. It, it, it's cool because it's like a different type of style. Anyways, so you put that like that and then these are the shelves. I decided this color because we're going with white and black and then I think this will look really cute with green. I already tried it at the store and I loved it. So we got these shelves all from Home Depot. The plants that came home with us, two yucca canes. I really like this one because it has two and at different levels. I just gotta replant it and obviously fix it because that one is falling on top of that one. Behind him, we got this big beautiful cactus. I couldn't find a pot big enough to cover this one. I might leave it like this. Ow! I think about it a little bit longer. But I think it looks cute because the theme is white and black anyways. Look, I convinced him. This one's really nice. Very nice and this one's really good for air purifying the, the air. It's one of the top plants for that. Um, we got bamboo. You can't go wrong with bamboo and a uh, snake plant. I chose these specifically because these are easy to take care of. Cactus is probably the most easy. Bamboo is super easy. Just don't let it get dry. Um, and yeah, so those are added, are going to be added to what we already have, which we showed you here. Uh, we got some little palms and, and these guys, Z plants. So. You ready? I am ready. I like projects. Painting I've started to like a little. <laughs> <laughs> right. Do I need to take these out? Or just work around them? Work around them? Just like that. Like a little pro. What? 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 We're gonna be here all day if we do these type of strokes. You know that? Yeah. Yeah. I don't mind, Mama. I got all day. <gasps> that pure white. Oh my goodness. I already love it. Okay, we gotta move to the next section. Can we move to the next section? Still painting pots. Um, I did do two coats of the white in that room. Um, now I'm painting my pots. If you guys want to know what I use, acrylic paint. And no, I do not paint the inside. You see, it's still clay on the inside. It's still its original color. Obviously, you don't really want to paint the inside. There's no point. Plus, not good for the plant. Um, should we show them our wall? I don't know if it needs a second coat. We're gonna have to wait till tomorrow in daylight because in this light you can't tell. He said it's pretty hard to tell the color right now, but it's all white. It looks pretty even, but like I said, I need daylight to know if it is or not because I ran out of paint. I used everything, everything up. All right, so day two. I'm hoping it's the last day. Today's Thursday, my day off. I get to do this stuff. We would have done more, 
However, last night I couldn't tell if the wall needed any more layers because our chandelier was putting all these shadows and even now it looks like because it still has more shadows, but looking up close, yeah, it's it's pure white. Ooh, the wall is really hot right here. Gotta be some pipe or something there. Do not hit that area. We do have a stud finder. Um, but yeah, now we have a really nice wall. This takes us back to our... Um, Photo shoots. Photo shoot days. We when we started, we, um, we actually started in our garage and we made this huge white wall. And then we had like four lights, two on top reflecting on it, two on the bottom, and then one where you would take with you everywhere, like mm -hmm. big, like actual photography lights. And the wall would be so beautiful and white. Right. So Let's keep it for that. So strike a pose. Screw the plant. No, I'm just kidding. Strike a pose. <laughs> So yeah, we'll do that. Yeah? yeah. <laughs> no, I really want my plants. So find another white wall, baby. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> like I already have plans for this white wall. Uh, we can take the tape off now. Actually, this was the part we hated the most, remember? Yeah. Like you would think that it would be so self. This one, yes, because it's expensive as tape, but we used cheap tape at one point. And we hated it. Oh my god. Tape just makes it look like the project is not done, right? Yeah. Like I felt like there's something missing. It looks bad. <laughs> Ta-da! We got a shelf up! Three hours later. Oh my god! Well first it took us forever to find the studs. Like our wall had a weird... Like you know how like they're just down the studs, you know? No, we would find like a big ass one and a very tiny one and then no stud. And then when we finally started to find the studs, we tried to drill, pushed it back out. So he's thinking that it was what? Like kind of wall? aluminum. Is it aluminum? Yeah. Like is that studs. what they use instead of the wood studs? Yeah. Cause it was pushing it back out. Like it wouldn't go anywhere. <sighs> so we had to buy these new drywall ones and then not go for studs anymore go for where it was just drywall that that type of thing and of course we hit a stud and of course we hit a stud and then he kissed me for every hole he made <laughs> that was not a good hole because <laughs> he starts kissing me all nice on my neck while i'm helping him hold it and i'm like you're doing this because you're gonna make a lot of holes in the wall aren't you <laughs> so every little mistake you would kiss me like don't get mad <laughs> but anyways happy we got one up you like it mommy mommy it's bulk did you see her? She's like, she's gonna go like that to the wall. <laughs> Don't hurt mommy's wall, okay? She's been watching a lot of home improvement. Right? She's like, I know how this works. <laughs> mommy? Yeah. <gasps> what did you do there? Goofy girl. Okay, so we're not 100% done, and it is day three, but I'm gonna drag it out another day. So, we're gonna show you what we have. I'm currently painting a pot right now. I have to paint another one. I do need to replant some of these guys. This one, this one. I have a cactus back here that's looking pretty neat. It's got like its little guys coming out of it. You see that? If they grow big, it's gonna look freaking cool. Okay, but let's show you guys the wall. I don't have a name for it. I should probably come up with a name for it. The green wall. The green wall. <laughs> uh, this is the spot. If anyone's sick, you will lay down here until you get better. True, true fact. Um, plants were brought to hospitals when people were sick because it would help you recover quicker, so they would fill your room up with plants. Eventually, that changed into roses and carnations, which those aren't really the healing ones. It's the plants that are the healing ones uh, because they're thriving and alive, not chopped and poor things. <laughs> so um, that was that, that. It is a true fact. But um, I've always wanted a wall like this, and I, I had like a picture on my phone, an inspirational picture. It came out better than the picture. I'll just say. <laughs> no, I'm just very proud of it. Um, if you want to do something like this in your house, you can do it on a lower scale, like smaller if you wanted to. The photo that I had was a small, it was like a, a small section like that. Um, my couple tips, I would say one, buy your pots as cheap as possible. Clay pots, the orange ugly ones, some people will We'll, we'll think they're cute, so that's debatable. Um, they're the cheapest ones, but what's great is if you use acrylic paint, the paint will um, dry quickly on it. It works very nice. This is the paint I'm using from 
uh, Hobby Lobby and it's really cheap if you buy the little ones they're like a dollar and they last they last a long time I just did white and black so honestly I was able to buy the cheapest pots and then just paint them and it didn't really matter because some pots are super ugly and they cost a lot too <laughs> and I'm like no I'm just gonna buy the ugliest ones and then just paint them so that's my biggest tip save on that um, plants themselves are not usually that expensive unless you're looking at something like this guy which I think cost us like $25 um, this guy too, I think cost us 20. We bought one today that was expensive. It might be that one. But the rest of these, like this is like $5, $3. This one was three, three. Um, this because it comes with a vase, it's like $10 or something. This guy was like $3. So the plants themselves are not expensive. The most expensive part are these industrial pipes. That is the expensive part. The, the shelves are not even bad. This is $4, this shelf, and then the longer shelves are $6. But these, this was eight, the caps were $3. And then these guys, do you remember? Three or four dollars. Yeah, each, each. So that added up, but I, I love the look. So I was like, okay, fine, whatever. It's Everything unique, else is cheaper. It's a unique look. <laughs> it's yeah. a very unique look. I like it. Um, and now I've been telling Hubby I need him to get me a desk so I can start doing emails here. <laughs> um, it's actually the perfect time to do it because I'm a summer baby and right now I'm totally done with this weather. So I just come here and stare at my wall. Like it guys? Do you like it? <laughs> Obviously this is not for everyone. I know not everyone is a crazy plant fanatic, but if you are, you are probably appreciating this very, very much. It's a good idea. It's a good idea. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, we're going to end it here. If you enjoyed this video, hashtag love it so I know you love it. Be sure to like the video. Be sure to be subscribed. Hit the little bell right by the subscribe button so you're notified every time we post a video. And until next time, bye guys.